morning everyone, it is Friday again and I've just got up to get ready. I'm going into work this morning, it's one of the um, girls last day before she goes travelling so I'm going to go in for a catch up and some cake of course <laughs> um, and then I need to nip along to our local village and do some chores um, today and then I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do after that but I think I might go and see a friend um, but I'm not quite sure yet what's happening but for my breakfast this morning I am having just some Rice Krispies um, I'll obviously be having <laughs> a cup of tea and some cake at work so I've just gone for something simple for breakfast and I'm supposed to be um, cutting down on the sugar <laughs> intake. Um, I had a midwife appointment and then I had to go into the hospital for a scan. It was all a big palaver for no reason because um, there was glucose in my urine but um, I just kind of need to control the chocolate intake which is really difficult for me because I, I've got such a sweet tooth. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up there, eat my breakfast quickly, dry my hair and scoot down to work because I've already got So I'm now back in the car from seeing everyone at work. Um, it was so nice to see everyone again even though I was in quite recently. Um, it was nice to give the girl that's leaving um, a bit of a send off. Um, there was like cake and nibbles and crisps and fruit and everything you can think of really. Um, our manager does a great job at um, doing a good farewell um, and we give her her gift and things. Um, she doesn't leave for another couple of weeks so I'll probably try and catch up with her again before she officially goes on her travels. Um, I've just gone to the village and done some errands, had to do some uh, post some birthday gifts um, and things like that. I'm now away to drop off a present and um, we had a wedding a couple, a good couple of weeks back and we keep forgetting to give them their wedding present that we got them which is so bad. Um, they were away on honeymoon and then they were away again and it was the summer holidays and it was just a bit hectic um, all round and I just kept forgetting to go and deliver it which is so bad. So. I'm going to go and do that now and deliver it to her mum and dad's house. So we've lived in her house now for three years and we still seem to get this person's mail which is so frustrating. Normally if it's just junk I will get rid of it but it's now becoming quite like official letters and um, like certificates and things like that so I need to go to the post office um, and kind of just say that this person doesn't live in this address so I've got about five letters to send back um, so I'll do that. And then I'm going to go and see my friend, um, um, she's on a study day today, so I'm going to go and distract her um, for an hour or two um, and have a coffee with her and then I'll probably head home. I've been to my friends a couple of times but you know when you're just not 100% sure so I'm trusting the sat nav to take me there and um, I've just gone and got some biscuits from the garage these foxes I think they're like chunky chocolate chip and um, which look amazing so I didn't want to go empty-handed so I thought I'd take these along with me. Um, I will say I did not have cake um, when I was at my work um, or anything else. I just had some crisps, um, just a handful of crisps. So I think I'll be entitled to two biscuits. Um, I'm not that much of a fat pie. But anyway, um, I'm hoping the sat nav will take me to my friend's house.
home from seeing my friend and I've realised I've not actually had very much to eat today um, and it's about quarter past three now so I'm gonna have some toast I think and some cereal bar to keep me tied over until dinner time but I've just came home to do some chores, the odd bits bobs um, not sure if I'll end up just sitting on my arse and watching some trashy TV but then I'm going to head down and see my mum and dad and um, normally go and see them on a Friday so if anyone knows any remedies to get your dog from stop licking Oscar because it is driving me insane he keeps licking his paws a couple of months back we had to take him to the vet because he was licking his paws and like scratching so much um, and it turned out that he kind of had like a almost the equivalent to like a doggy hay fever so we took him to the vet and they give him give us some like anti-itching tablets to give him but he's now not on them and he for like a couple of weeks um, and we're not quite sure like what exactly the allergy is like if it's his food or the pollen and things like that but I mean it's not really pollen at the moment um, kicking about. As you can see it's completely miserable outside. So he is driving me insane with this licking. Look, stop licking. Oscar. Hey, stop it buddy. Look at your paws. Look. What's wrong? What, what's wrong? <laughs> What is it? Mm. 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 Hey, So I'm just going to go down and see my mum and dad just now. They just literally live around the corner, which is super handy. Um, Oscar gets super excited whenever I say Papa, which is what we call my dad. Um, and I think he associates him with fun, but he gets so hyper. He almost yelps. It's so cute. But anyway, I'm going to go down and see them and then come home and make dinner. Uh, Oscar, you going to go see Papa? We're gonna go see Papa. Come on then. Oh, come on then. Let's go see Papa. Come on. Oh, Whiskey. Are you ready? Oh, we're gonna go see Papa. Are we? Are we gonna go see Papa? Oh, are we gonna go see Papa? Whiskey. Oh, you got another itch, of course. Hmm? I'm gonna go see Papa. You ready? Oh, where are you? Oh, where are you? <gasps> there you are! Ooh. Oh, you want to go? Want to go in the car? Go on then. Let's go. Making. Jake is having chicken wrapped in pancetta 
um, with some mange too and I part boiled some potatoes and I've put some olive oil, paprika, garlic salt and some salt and I'm going to roast those. I'm going to have some lettuce leaves. I put some cheddar cheese over the top. Um, I've got some barbecue chicken that I want to heat up and I'm going to put some strips of the pancetta as well on top and that is what we're going to have for dinner tonight. Good morning everyone. It is Saturday and it's round about lunch time and um, now we are going to head into Aberdeen. Um, my friend who I used to work with many years ago has just had a little girl so I want to send something, well I say little girl, she was nine pounds at seven and um, so yeah she was quite big um, but I want to send something up to her so we're gonna go and get something from Aberdeen and then send up to her. We also got some vouchers um, from my work when I left um, to go on maternity leave and there's a couple of things that we had spotted that we liked so we're going to go and have a look around and see if they have the things that we want and then I think we're going to go for some lunch um, at a place called the Boozy Cow. If you've not been there before um, I'd recommend you go, it's really good, it's almost like a <clears throat> an American diner. Um, they have one in Edinburgh, but um, I think this was just originally a pop-up restaurant, but it became really popular, so they've just kept it on. So go if you get a chance. and Vic is watching the Grand Prix that he recorded this morning. Not really my idea of fun, so I came upstairs and um, we managed to get my friend um, something for her baby. Um, we've got this card here. Um, it's just from Mother Care. I'm not a fan of lemon things, but the the lemon and the grey goes really nice together and I really like those like cute little buttons there. Um, so yeah, that was just from Mother Care. And we got her, <coughs> excuse me, these. These cute little um, sleep suits. So you get a pack of three. Um, I think it was... Sixteen pounds, and this goes up to fourteen pounds, and she is already nearly ten pounds. So I thought she'll get some use out of this relatively soon. I really just liked the floral sort of print, so they have little turnips um, at the bottom here, floral, with a wee bow, um, with the blue and floral sort of red pattern um, and on the feet it's got little stripes, red and white stripes at the bottom. The other one is just um, red and white with blue sort of polka dots and the edging um, and it's got the blue polka dots on the feet 
which is cute. And then this one is just the white one with the blue polka dot and the reds of stitching. And it's got the floral print on the bottom. So I thought I will send that up. I also want to get her one of those um, jelly cats. Um, I got like a cute little rattle um, that my mother-in-law got me. I think it was, that was from John Lewis. But I really want to go and get her something little like that. So I can stand up as well. Um, more of a keepsick kind of thing. Um, and <clears throat> so that's about it really. We're just going to chill tonight I think. Nothing too exciting. This is my baby's room but more of a dumping ground at the moment. I still need to sort everything out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing too exciting. But I really need to start sorting through things and organising it all. Um, the baby's bag is over there which I'm going to do a video on. Um, I'm also going to do video on what I got for my birthday. I ordered quite a bit of stuff um, offline with birthday money that I got, but it's still not came yet, so um, once it's all here, it'll be easy for me to do one. I'm also going to do a 32 week pregnancy update. I was going to do a vlog again, but this week has been slightly eventful. Um, I had to get an extra scan and things like that, and I kind of just want to go over how my week was um, it was a little stressful so I'm going to do a video on my 32 weeks. We're into the evening now and for dinner I didn't actually have anything and um, I was still pretty full from the boozy cow burger and the snack that I had earlier so Rick had um, just some chicken and chips and he is away up to his friends and then he's away to go out with the boys for a wee while so I'm just going to stay in and I think I'll chill and watch a movie and um, I got ready to go to the shop and get me some popcorn <laughs> to keep me going for the evening and I'm just going to go and do some editing at the moment and then I'm just going to sit and watch a bit of TV um, and then go to bed. So that is my Saturday night. Excuse the face. I have just came out in like a ton of spots. It's so depressing. But yeah, I will see you on Sunday. Good morning everyone. I'm not probably going to vlog very much because um, today we're just doing um, lots of chores today um, and doing bits of DIY and um, Rick is currently out well can't see him but he is cutting the small patch of grass we have and strimming it and we have a ton of boxes in the back garden that we need to get rid of so he needs to go to the tip with all of that I am just sorting out some washing and cupboard and things like that and um, Rick also needs to do some sanding down of some things um, so yeah it's just a day of really pottering around the house and doing DIY bits and um, my mum and dad are coming over for a quick catch up um, it's turned out it such a beautiful day today I kind of wish we did all this stuff yesterday and kind of used today to do some um, better things rather than all this wee jobs that we've got to do but hey ho so we're gonna pot around the house do all of that and then we're gonna go up to my in-laws for oh, um, afternoon um, Sunday dinner so that'll be nice so hopefully we live in a boing so hopefully and um, it'll be a little bit nicer and we'll get to sit out in the garden there. But yeah, it's so, so nice today. So beautiful. So, oh look, there's Rick strimming down there. Um, 
we've just had to get rid of like tons of stuff in the garden and kind of tidy up because we're actually getting the garden done in a couple of weeks we're getting whole new fencing and paving and things like that so we can enjoy the garden a little bit more once the little one arrives next year um but yeah oscar's having a little snooze he's scared of the strimmer so he's not allowed outside when Rick's strimming because he just barks at it and tries to attack it so he has to stay in when Rick's strimming but yeah that is our Sunday not very exciting and um, I think that's what Sundays are for but if you like this vlog of this weekend and um, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I will see you all next week um, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook so follow me on there and keep tabs on all of us um, I'll be putting a pregnancy update um, live in the next couple of days and I've got some other things cropping up like the baby's bag and things like that so yeah I'll see you all next week bye